This following video is presented by Presence Consulting Group, where we commit ourselves to your project success. For more information, please visit our website at www.presencecg.com. Our topic for this tutorial is building a three-level master detail page in Iron Speed Designer, and our presenter is Iron Speed MVP Herman Chan. For questions after seeing the video, please email Herman at Herman.chan at presentcg.com. Hi everyone, thank you for watching our Iron Speed video training series. My name is Herman Chen from Presence Consulting and we provide quality solutions to companies like yours. Today, I want to introduce one of the hidden gems in Iron Speed Designer page types, enhanced page with details below. Working with fellow Iron Speed developers, I've discovered that most of us don't use that enough, and it's a really, really neat page type. More than often, we want to see a lot of details on the same page about one particular subject. Sometimes it's a person or a store or it's a particular product or, you know, as a family in this case. Um, we want to see is product groups and if it is a product, we want to see, you know, inventory level, technical specs, vendor information, something like that. To do this, it's pretty easy with the um, automatically generated edit page or view page from Iron Speed when you generate an application uh, it would have uh, the tab below to show you the details but what if user wants to easily move across the list jumping from one entity to another um, then we can use this page type right here to achieve that purpose easily so let me first take a look at the finished page to give some perspective. In this example, I'm building an enterprise level asset management system which IT uses to track all of their equipment, such as computers, cell phones, projectors, etc. For each asset family, there are different tabs to show details such as manufacturers, resellers, inventory level, and their own product group. Within the product group tab, I have implemented this expand and collapse function to show the third level of details. To build such a page, the first thing is to make sure all the database relationships have been properly defined so that when Ironspeed generates the page, all the tabs are being properly generated. So here is the simple database structure with just a couple of tables. In the whole database, of course, I have more tables, but just to demonstrate, you know, simplify the demonstration, I only include these three tables in this diagram. In this demo, we're going to show asset family, how it links with um, product group, and how product links to the product group. Okay, so let's start creating the page. So I'm going to create uh, a new page right now just on SF family. So let me check off all this. I just want to create one new page, which is this guy, enhanced with detail below. Let me lock in. And this is a new page it just generated, show as a family three. As you can see automatically you have this two level master detail page where you can click on the first icon and then it refresh the product group under this asset family so in this case when I click on computers it has like different groups of servers different type of servers and if I click on cell phones you would have different uh, groups of cell phones like Blackberry iPhones Motorola you know things like that what we are trying to achieve here is to have the expand and collapse button 
on the detail level as well so you can see what kind of blackberries this company has what kind of iPhones this company has so let let's go back to iron speed designer so let's go into this new page and start adding controls we are on the show SF family table 3 page right now so the first thing I want to create, uh, let's take a look at the, yeah, instead of the SI family fields, we should be going into the product groups field. So let's add a column on the left and merge the cells. Go ahead and add and expand and collapse row button right here and then we're gonna insert a new row below it on this second row I'm going to merge those cells together and I'm gonna pull in a product group well a product table control right here it will then prompt you what kind of control I want whether I want to have a record control or a table control in this case I'm gonna select an edit table control let me adjust some of the um, properties of this new control and make it a little bit more narrow with uh, a smaller number of fields and I don't want any search I don't want to clog up the page too much and no filters we build the application and refresh this page so by default as you can see the products are already being pulled correctly under each group so for mid-level servers I don't have any product under that product group entry level servers I don't have anything either but then on laptops I have a whole bunch of different laptops and workstation I have one so they're being linked up correctly however when you clicked on this expand and collapse uh, button you get to this page so here is the trick I want to show you how to how to fix this problem going back to the iron, iron speed designer so on this new row within the Iron Speed Designer, where we put the product table control, we have to add two new properties in order for Iron Speed to recognize when it's doing the expand and collapse action. This is the row we're referring to. So let's right click and then go to Styles, Row, and set the two properties. We're giving it a specific name that Iron Speed um, button is looking for so we set the ID and in this case we want to call it product group table control alt row and then on the second one we're just gonna do run at server and then build the application again 
So go back and we'll refresh the page. And this time, as you can see, when you clicked on the expand and collapse, it doesn't redirect you to the error page or the configure page, but it does the action as you expected. So by default, the first row is always expanded when you go across different parent, in this case, our asset family. In order to hide this so that it looks more professional, more neat, you can go into Ironspeed Designer and go to the page itself. Click on this product group, Table Control, and change this setting to All Rows Collapsed on Initial Display. Rebuild the application and refresh the page. And now if you go to a different SI family, all roles are being collapsed. So I hope you find this video beneficial. If you need help with the project, give us a call. See you in the next video.